Hello everyone welcome back to my another tutorial, in today's video I will be showing you how to design trendy delicious food UI concept like these. So let's get started. I will be using these image, the color and the search icon to design the trendy delicious food UI concept. From the top left corner of the Photoshop, select file, new to create new document. Width 1920 pixels. Height 1080 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels. And make it 16 bit document. And name it the name of your choice. Then hit create. Then unlock background layer by clicking on the lock icon to unlock and rename it BG which is our background. Now let's change the background color with the color sample I show you earlier in these video. We are going to use the gold yellow color for the background. Copy the color by navigating to the sample page I show you, then use the eyedropper tool to select the color into our foreground panel, then hit alt plus delete key on your keyboard to change the color. Let's set up, rectangle shape. Select the rectangle tool and make a shape, by right clicking on the background and from the pop out menu make the width 1700 pixel and the height 800 pixels. Select the shape and align it to the center. I think we should change the height to 900 pixels, so that it perfectly fit into perspective. Select the shape and align it to the center. Make the corner of the rectangle 70 pixels to have a rounded corner just like these. Now let's change the color of the shape, just as we change the color of the background. By navigating to the sample page I show you, then use the eyedropper tool to select the ivory color into our foreground panel, then hit alt plus delete key on your keyboard to change the color. Now let's drag in our image into the background, adjust it if require. We are going to make a shape to be our placeholder for the image so that it will separate the background from the image. Now select the pen tool and choose curvature pen tool and go to the pen tool setting at the top left corner and change the setting to shape just as you see in these video and drag on the background and make a shape around the image just like these. You can also adjust the shape if require. Click on the shape from the layer panel, and change the color to the gold yellow color of the foreground background just as you see me do. But you can also make it the color of your choice I am just showing example. Move the shape to be under the image. Then right click on the image and from the drop down menu select make a clipping mask. Now select the image at the edge and right click and from the drop down menu choose duplicate layer and from the pop out menu click OK. Now select the shape and hold down control from Windows or command from Mac and click on the shape layer thumbnail to make selection just like these. Then click on rectangle marquee tool from the tool panel move over the shape and right click the shape and from the pop out menu select inverse, just follow and do what you see me doing. After the select the mask area of the copy image and choose brush tool from the tool panel and make sure that your foreground color is set to black and white just like these. And brush over the image to clean the area that appear not to be inside the shape just like these to erase the image edges. Then at the top panel of the Photoshop you will see select click on it and from the drop down menu choose deselect to release the inverse just like these. Let's add our title for the design, select the type tool and type in your wording, but as for these design I am typing delicious tasty meal. Also change the color of the text to black. Work on the text until you arrive at your taste. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. I am using Roboto font for these design. You can use the font of your choice. Also let's add word like these to our title for healthy life. Then play around the text and adjust it according to your choice bear in mind I am just showing you example. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. Also let's add meal description to the design. 
In these case I will be using a random text. Select the type tool and drag over background to make a text box so that the text fill the text box by default just like these. I will make the text 6 point and set it flow to auto. Then adjust the text and make it 3 line character just as you see in these video. But for you type in your description and adjust it according to your design perspectives. Now let's add our view menu placeholder. Select the rectangle tool and make shape like these and adjust it just as you see in these video. Change the color of the shape to gold yellow to mimic our other color. Then select the type tool and type in view menu and place the text at the top of the shape just as you see in these video. Now let's add the UI draw for the page when fixed on website. Select the rectangle tool and make a shape just like these. Adjust it edge to be rounded corner. Place it into perspective as you see in these video. Then duplicate the shape and reduce the size just as you see in these video. I will advise that you follow and do what you see me do. So that we can both arrive at the same fittings. I think we should make the view menu placeholder more rounded and adjust the size just like these. Cool. Also move it to the left side of the design just like these. Also let adjust the thickness of shape bar also just like these. Now let's add the logo of our company. As for these design I will use words, I will type delicious you can use your logo if you have one. Make the text size 10 point. Divide the color so that one part be black color and the other part gold yellow color just like these. Now let's add our website navigator words. In these UI setup I will use the home, menu, food, about us and contact. Let's align the word at the top just as you see me do. And to properly align the text let's set up guide just by dragging from the top corner of the workspace just as you see me do in these video do the same. Also we will be making the text 5 point. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. Then we need to properly align the text so that they will have definite space to separate the text from each other, for these select all the text together and from the alignment panel that show at the top of the workspace select what you see me select. Now let drag in our search icon. Hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and resize the icon just as you see in these video. Now make a duplicate of the shape of the view menu placeholder and adjust it and move it to the top right side of the design to be the placeholder for the sign in navigation icon just like these. Also decrease the opacity of the icon to match the color of all the navigator words. Now duplicate the text view menu and rename it sign in, reduce the size and place it at the top of the placeholder shape at the top right side of the design just like these. Let's add another text for the timing of the dinner. Select the type tool and type dinner. Time 6 pm to 9 pm. You can put the timing of your choice, so it depend on your choice. I am just showing you example. Adjust the text accordingly. Also let's make a duplicate of the bar on the lift side. Then from the property menu let's adjust the width and height of the shape bar to value you see in these video. Width 8 pixels and height 150 pixels. Then select the shape bar and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows and Command plus T on Mac to transform the shape. Right click on the shape 
bar and from the pop-out menu select rotate 90 degree clockwise, then adjust the shape, place it below the dime time text just like these. Now select the placeholder shape of the image of the chef and duplicate the layer and make the size a big bigger. Now we are going to change the color to more darker yellow color to separate the layers just like these. Then select the placeholder of the chef image and double click on it and from the pop out menu select stroke and set the size as you see and change the stroke color to ivory color we use in the color sample. Continue to customize the shapes until you arrive at the best fit for the design perspective. I think it look good to me now. Let's change the color of the sign in and view menu placeholder to more darker yellow to mimic the placeholder of the chef image just like these. Let's change the dinner time text to all cap. Now arrange all the layer group them according just as we are getting close to the end of our design. So select all the shape and the text and group them according just as you see in these video. Finally, one more thing we need to do we are going to add some little shapes to the design. Now hold down the pen tool panel and from the pop out menu navigate to select the curvature pen tool. With the tool draw small shape just as you see me do in this video. These is optional, but to make the design look outstanding then we need to add the shapes. I will also skip this part, so that I don't keep you waiting. Change the colors of the shapes just as you see in these video or you can also use the color of your choice. Select all the shapes from the layer panel and drag and drop them into the shape group. Our design is done. Thanks for watching, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please kindly do so for more tutorial like these, also don't forget to like the video, share and leave us a comment at the comment section of this video. See you on my next video.